here with Dr. Romano today and we're going to be doing an acid-base reaction. Hey, Dr. Romano, I noticed that you're always carrying that big book. What's up with that? I always carry a book with me. It's called Avadi Mecham. I always need to take notes and I always need to know physical constants. So if you have nothing else to wonder about, why don't we come around and learn some chemistry? What we have here, it says that we have a drug weighing 0.800 grams is neutralized by 100 milliliters of 0.150 HCl. Aluminum hydroxide is the active drug ingredient. Now what we want to do is to find the number of grams of aluminum hydroxide in this drug. Where did I begin? The first thing we need to write the reaction, what happens when HCl reacts with aluminum hydroxide? I'm going to show you a nice trick. What you would do is if you wrote aluminum hydroxide up here, and you wrote HCl down here, and you crisscross this, this is a nice easy way to get the products. Anytime you cross an HOH combination, that's automatically water. So that's money in the bank. When you crisscross the AL and the CL, you get ALCL. But then just check it. The aluminum is a plus three, the chlorine is a minus one. It puts you in the ballpark, but you just got to do a little bit of finagling with it. So in other words, when you crisscross, it's really ALCL3. So what we, what we have here is we're going to have HCl, HCl plus aluminum hydroxide, give it aluminum chloride and water. Now, there is three chlorines on the right side, so I'm going to need three in front of the HCl to balance the chlorine. Now, there's three H's from here and three H's from here, which makes six H's, so I need a three to balance it out. And then there's three O's, three O's, and it's balanced. So if they didn't give you the balanced equation, that was the tough part for you to be able to write the equation and balance it. Now, where do we begin? I always like to begin with the chemical they give me the most information about, and that's hydrochloric acid. We know molarity is the moles of the solute over the liters of the solution. Well, the molarity is 0.150, the liters is 0.100 liters, and that gives me 0150 moles of HCl. Now, moles of acid does not neutralize the exact number of moles of base here because HCl has one H and aluminum hydroxide has three OHs. So we got to be careful with stoichiometric relationships. So I'm going to take the 0150 moles of HCl and look in my eyes. There's one mole of aluminum hydroxide for three moles of HCl, and the moles of HCl cancel. And then finally, you look up the weight, there's 78 grams of aluminum hydroxide in a mole. Moles cancel out. Don't worry about a calculator um, for the dat. The numbers will be much nicer, but for this exam question, you could use a calculator for it. So if you hit 78 times 0150 over three, that gives me the number of grams of aluminum hydroxide, which is 0.390. And that's how you did part A. Part B, I'm going to be nice to you. Find the percent. Percent is part over the whole times 100. The part that we just found was 0.390. The whole thing was 0.80. So this is roughly 0.4 over 0.8 times 100. It's roughly 50%. And when you did it on a calculator, it came out to 48.8%. Hope this gives you a good idea of a really great problem that you might see on the data exam. This is a hard one. This isn't for a kid with a 19, but the guy that's going for the big 25 and beyond. All right. I hope this helps and good day to you. Bye-bye.